Hello everybody and welcome back to another flow video. This is Jacob Tucker and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add wallet connect login to your flow dapp um, So all I have right now is a you know pretty basic slash bare bones react application I haven't really done anything with it. All I've done is just you know added a login uh, Log out button so that you can see on the left hand side. This is really all that we're dealing with right now um, and yeah, so I'm just going to walk you through it really quickly. So let's just go for it. Um, so the first thing that you want to do when you're, you know, adding authentication to your dApp, and by the way, if you've already add, added authentication to your dApp and you're just looking to simply add wallet connect on top, you can skip a little bit, but I'm going to show you the whole authentication workflow really quick. So first of all, we want a user object so that we can actually track who the user is. So we're going to do this, um, using uh, use state. Now also quick reminder, um, if you are using something like Svelte Kit or a different, uh, you know, front end uh, framework, that is also totally fine. Um, it's going to be the exact same thing, just you know, using whatever you know. It's going to be very, very similar. Um, so, anyways, uh, here is a user object that we're going to use um, in order to keep track of the user states, like their address, whether or not they're logged in, that kind of thing. So we can just initialize logged in to false and ADDR, which stands for address, to just an empty string, just like that. Okay. Um, and uh, in fact, I'll just put these down here so you can uh, you can see it better. So the next thing we want to do is on the this, these buttons, we want to uh, you know add functions to log in, log out. So we can add an on click function that just does FCL oops uh, dot authenticate. Now you must be wondering what the heck is FCL. Um, so in, in in order to do this, we actually have to install um, on flow FCL and another library uh, for Wallet Connect. So quickly, let's just stop our front end here. And let's run npm install at on flow slash fcl and at on flow slash fcl dash wc so we're going to need both of these dependencies in order to um you know add wallet connect to our dap um at on flow slash fcl is needed just for any fcl and the you know dash wc one is used uh, is used specifically for adding uh wallet connect into our dap um so we can just wait for this install really quickly it should be should be relatively fast um, but I guess while that's going, why don't we just continue? So what we can do is we can um, import all as FCL from at on flow such FCL like that. And uh, now we'll have FCL uh, authenticate and we're also going to add, um, you know, on click here. Uh, and this one is going to be FCL dot unauthenticate. So pretty easy. So these two functions will automatically, uh, you know, trigger logging in and logging out. Um, the only other thing that we have to add is a config file in order to actually, you know, log the user, um, you know, in order to actually tell FCL um, where to look. So that being testnet or uh, or or mainnet. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's actually make another file here um, called config.js. Um, and inside of this config is where we're actually going to hook up FCL. Uh, to uh, the flow network. Okay, so everything is installed. Let's just go ahead and run this again so that we are going. Okay, and I'm just looking at my notes here. So what we want to do again is um, import all as FCL uh, from at on flow slash FCL. And then we're going to run fcl.config and we need to import a bunch of different uh, configs here. So again, we're, we're telling FCL to look at testnet, mainnet, uh, what wallets to log into, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead. I hate when YouTubers do this, but I'm going to go ahead and paste, um, you know, some some configs. The reason being, I'm going to actually include a link to all this code in the description. And these are all just configurable. So I don't want to waste time setting these up. But um, yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to paste these here. And we're also going to add a network uh, variable uh, for testnet. So we're just going to log into testnet uh, initially. So there's a couple of things we need to add here. One is flow.network, and that is just simply going to be this network variable. That's either going to be, a, you know, testnet, mainnet, emulator, whatever it is. Um, we're also going to add something called access node.api, and this is going to tell um, FCL where, uh, you know, wh what, um, you know, what, what route to look at. So again, whether it's testnet or mainnet, and we can just do FCL config info, which we defined up top um, at network.access node. We're also going to add discovery.wallet, and this is simply just FCL config info at network um, dot uh, discovery wallet. And these three things are necessary in order to um, log in. Okay. So if we go back to our app here, we can actually import um, dot slash config. And so that hopefully 
if we refresh this page here and click on login, we should see that these wallets are what come up. So it's super simple, right? And if we um, actually click Blockdo here um, and we approve, uh, we what we can do is we can make a little uh, you know p, uh, a p tag here that just says, listen, if user dot logged in, uh, we can say welcome, uh, welcome uh, user dot ADR. Um, Otherwise, you know, we can just say, um, you know, please, please log in, something like that, okay? And then we'll close that bracket. So uh, right, right now it's saying please log in. And that's because we're not actually, um, you know, we're not saving, uh, you know, or at least when we click fsale.authenticate, we're not saving, um, you know, our, our user object anywhere. And so what we have to do is add a use effect right here. That just says every time the page refreshes, so we can add these empty brackets here, fcl.currentuser.subscribe set user. Um, and what this is going to do is you'll see the address appears now. So if we go ahead and log out, we can log back in, click on Blockdo, and we can click approve. And you'll see that it says welcome, uh, you know, this address. So now uh, everything's great. Even if we refresh the page, these are still logged in. So now we have to add actual, you know, we, you, when you see when we log out and log back in, there's no wallet connect option, right? So how uh, do we do that? So this is uh, really, um, you know, the, the wallet connect part. So below here, what we can say is const wallet connect project ID. And this is something that you could store inside of like an ENV var um, equals empty string. Now where you get this is I'll also include this link in the description. But uh, it's this link right here that you'll have to log into. And when you log into this link, um, you'll have to create a project and then get your own project ID. And that's what you would paste right here. Now, I have my own for testing purposes. So I'm just going to paste mine here. But, uh, you know, again, you would want to use your own. So then the next part is you're going to um, import. Uh, and let me just look at my notes here. Sorry, I know I'm like kind of cheating here. But we're going to import um, init from at on flow slash fcl dash wc okay so we can scroll down here and say init and i think we have to plug in a bunch of different things to here um where we say okay so the project id this is the wallet connect project id then we have to plug in some metadata so let's just give some you know metadata for our app so we can say jacob's website um and sorry that is the name right we can also add a, a description here um, Jacob's website is cool. Uh, we can also add a URL. Let's just point that to uh, Emerald Academy, which is uh, the best, uh, you know, um, academy for learning flow blockchain content, of course. Um, and we can also add, you know, an array of icons. Now, I don't know exactly what all of these are for, but I'm just going to include the Emerald Academy icon. So a link to that icon right there. Okay. So that's the metadata you can provide. Um, now, another thing you, you have to add is uh, include, or you don't have to add this, but include base uh, WC. I'll show you what this does. This is just true. Um, wallets, I'm going to leave as an empty uh, array here. WC request hook. These are just all uh, configurables that I'm just putting here to show you. And uh, pairing modal override, I'm going to leave as null. Then what we can say is dot then. Um, just looking here for a second. Uh, FCL uh, WC service, uh, plugin. Um, and then we're going to, uh, make a function here that just says FCL dot plugin registry dot add FCL WC service plugin. So now that we have done that, I believe if we go ahead, refresh our page and click login, we do see that wallet connect is now an option and the flow reference mobile version is also here, uh, because I believe that's a part of like this whole wallet connect thing. Um, however, you know, if you don't want uh, this option to appear, so you see this wall connect option, if you don't want that to appear, then you can put false here. And you can see that if we now click log in, it no longer appears, right? Um, but the, the flow reference mobile uh, option does. So, you know, we, you can click that whenever you want, but that is how you add um, wallet connect to your DAP. I hope this was helpful and um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.